Hello, 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 everybody. All right, you're gonna love technology. I mean, I love technology, right? It's, uh, we've tested this a uh, couple hours just before the event and still we had technical issues. Oh, this is uh, streaming for you. And especially streaming to LinkedIn is quite difficult. But anyways, hello everybody. Uh, awesome to be here. I hope that you can hear me. Um, I'd love to see if, if you guys can hear me and, and see me okay. That would be awesome. All right, cool. Anyways, let's get down to magic. Um, if you're on the chat, anybody can say that you can hear me. I'd love that. That would be amazing. We'll slowly be starting. Um, yeah, we're about eight minutes late on the start. Uh, thank you, technical issues. Uh, as I mentioned, we've been testing this. And uh, and uh, it's been a bit of a nightmare. But uh, here we are. So I'll get that music off. And... What we're going to do today is going to be must-have tools for modern sales professionals. Okay, amazing. So, and also we're going to have some giveaways. So, if you're here till the end, uh, we will have some giveaways. So, as I mentioned here, it says the Essential Sales Toolkit webinar uh, from me, uh, Tim Chakur. I'm the CEO here at Task Drive, and I'm super excited to be uh, given this webinar, uh, as you realize, our webinars are every every two weeks. We have a webinar, so you know if you miss one, come to the other one. The recordings are also live, so don't worry about it. Um, and yeah, let's let's get the magic going. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna share my screen in a second, and we're gonna look at uh, a few things together, and hopefully we'll have some time to even do some uh, practical things. So yeah, so let me share my screen with everybody now. Uh, here we go, one, two, one, two. My screen is coming now. Here we are. Cool, you should be able to see this. Uh, let me see if I can make that a little bit wider and bigger like this, because yeah, that's, that sits a bit better, I think, on the streaming. Um, can everybody put myself here? Uh, cool. Good stuff. So yeah, uh, must have tool for modern sales professionals. So the Essential Sales Toolkit webinar is now. We're starting. Awesome. I'm very excited. Um, cool. So we prepared a quick presentation, some slides, but you know I love practical examples. So we will dig into some practical examples and uh, hopefully with my best friend chat gpt as usual we'll do some magic as well cool so the agenda for today uh we're going to look at recommended tools for sales professionals uh, we're going to introduce the importance of using tools in modern sales an overview of a curated list of recommended tools for sales uh professionals uh, explanation of how each tool can enhance different aspects of the sales process um, from there on, we're going to be evaluating tools for your needs and goals. Okay. Um, and that's, you know, it changes for everybody. But, um, you know, these, these will be good examples for you to take on board. Um, all right. Um, and then uh, we're going to go into integrating tools with sales processes. This is one of the most difficult things. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to look at emerging trends and technologies in sales. We can have a bit of a Q&A. We don't have as high attendance this time. We're still testing our new way of doing webinars. Uh, on our, our chat GPT, your LinkedIn assistant, we had 1,400 people. It was awesome. I hope we can uh, do that success again. That was an amazing success. So you'll also have this document after. This is why it's not like, like just slides. Right? It's something that you will be able to have it. Uh, and then you can go through it um, as well. Cool. So, you know, right away, what's very important is the CRM. We have so many clients come to us um, and they don't even have CRMs. Okay. So if you don't have a CRM, it's a, it's, it's going to be difficult for you. So what we recommend usually is to have a CRM. But if you do come work with us uh, at Task Drive, you don't even have to have a CRM because we do have a complementary CRM that we offer to our clients. But here are some of the top four CRMs out there. You know, Salesforce is your classic uh, CRM. 
Um, and Salesforce, you know, uh, it's changed a lot. It's much better now than it used to be. Uh, great tool. Uh, if you're looking for enterprise advanced CRM and love customization, uh, Salesforce is going to be your go-to CRM. Um, you have Zoho. Zoho was quite an old school CRM, but uh, I had a look the other day and it's starting to look much better. So I would also recommend a bit of Zoho. Um, cool. Um, HubSpot, so I'm going to get into that because that's my favorite. But Pipedrive is a very nice, simple, easy to use CRM that I do recommend a lot to our clients. If you don't have a CRM and you want something simple uh, to start with, go with Pipedrive. It's going to be really good. Um, but, you know, I call it the Rolls Royce of CRMs. It's your HubSpot CRM. Um, their pricing plan is very, very difficult to understand. Yes, I know. I've had a lot of people complain about that, saying which features we should get, um, you know, which packages and so on. It is very, very confusing. Yes, uh, that's not just you. I'm also confused about their pricing sometimes. Uh, but HubSpot, I think, is one of the best CRMs out there, uh, not just because it's a CRM, but also it has marketing automation, it has customer support platform, and now they do operations platform inside it as well. So having everything under one roof is great for integration, great for data sharing. Uh, it really does help a lot. So I do recommend looking at HubSpot CRM. And also HubSpot CRM uh, has quite a lot of free, free features. So you could ride the free wave of HubSpot for a while, and that should be enough. Um, but also what's great about HubSpot is that if you're a startup, you can have a 90% discount on the first year. And the seventy percent discount on the second year, and then the third year, I think, is a fifty, or you're going to normal pricing. Uh, you can find out on HubSpot.com/slash or forward uh, forward slash uh, startups. I think something like that. Well, if you Google HubSpot for startups, uh, you'll find that deal. It's an amazing deal that I recommend for everybody to check out. Cool. All right. So these are your CRMs. You need to have a CRM if you're doing sales. Please do make sure that you have a CRM. If you don't have a CRM and you're coming to work with us, that's fine because we will put a CRM and we'll give you a complimentary CRM. Awesome. So um, also what's going to be very important is your sales analytics tools. Okay, your numbers, understanding your numbers. CRMs like HubSpot will have these things. Uh, they will have some uh, dashboarding and reporting features that are quite good. They are quite good, especially the HubSpots are quite good. Um, but if you are looking for something external and something a bit more robust, uh, you're going to have Tableau. Tableau, it's it's an amazing, you know, powerful data visualization tool. Um, but the issue with uh, Tableau, in my opinion, is it's very, very advanced. So usually you need to have somebody on your team that is a data scientist, a data analyst, um, to use uh, Tableau, right? Uh, so that makes it a little bit of a friction. Uh, and this is why there's other alternatives that I'm going to talk about right now. Uh, Looker. Looker is a great option as well. Uh, Google uh, bought them. Um, or, or vice, yeah, something like that. Google bought them. Uh, they're a really, really, really good tool. Um, so I do recommend looking at Looker. Again, it can be quite advanced. Uh, this is why I brought in Databox and Clipfolio. Uh, Databox and Clipfolio has been my go-to tool for data uh, and analytics and reporting in many, many startups that I've consulted, that I worked um, prior to being the CEO here at Task Drive. Uh, Databox is awesome. Uh, you can have your goals, it can alert you if you're not hitting 70% of your goals according to the time in the month or in the quarter. Um, it can alert you. You can have it on your Apple Watch. You can have a lot of notifications. Uh, the integrations are awesome. It integrates with everything, even with spreadsheets. So if you have a spreadsheet of data and you just want to visualize it, you can uh, integrate with Databox and you can do some really good stuff. Uh, Clipfolio, same thing. And the thing with Clipfolio, I think more... What I love about Clipfolio, it's as easy as Databox, but it's also very customizable. It does have very advanced features. I'm not saying Databox doesn't have it. Databox also has it, but Clipfolio has always had some, some very technical things that you can also play with, which is very interesting to look at. Um, and Clipfolio, what I love about Clipfolio, when I was teaching at the university, uh, Clipfolio has some amazing uh, material out there. They have KPIs. Uh, they have some guides and so on. Uh, very, very cool company doing some really good content. 
to help us learn about numbers and KPIs and so on. So these are your top four, in my opinion, to look at for sales analytics and reporting. Um, and as I mentioned, you know, uh, if you want something easier, go with Databox or Clipfolio. If you want something a little bit more complex and advanced, you can look at Looker. And then if you really want the, you know, uh, the Formula One of it, you know, it's going to be very technical. You need the team and so on. Then I would say look at Tableau. Uh, cool. So then we're going to look at very quickly at sales enablement tools, right? So you, we here we have um, High Spot. It's more about content. Uh, it's to play, you know, to centralize your sales content uh, so that you can make it easy for your sales teams to access and share the relevant materials. And so that when you update the relevant material is updated for every salesperson. Uh, you have Seismic. Seismic is, uh, provides also content management, a bit of personalization and analytics to enhance your sales productivity. So these are great tools for sales enablement. Uh, definitely um, tools to check out. You know, I do recommend checking them out. Um, okay, we're getting into a bit more of the of the, of the importance of sales, which is, you know, sales sequences, email campaigns, outreach. Uh, that's what we do at Task Drive for you, right? Um, we can use outreach or reply. They're both really good. Outreach is, 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 is very advanced. Reply is very, very cool. And lately with their AI, uh, with their AI tools as well, um, I think they're both amazing platforms. I think one's more expensive than the other. I think outreach is a bit more expensive. Reply is a bit more affordable but incredibly robust, strong uh, tools, okay? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, Reply and Outreach, um, you can check them out. You're going to have some other ones like Instantly.ai, and um, I can't remember now on top of my head, but there's so many of them out there, um, and we've tested a bunch of them, and Outreach and Reply comes always on top, in my opinion. Uh, so check them out, you know, but again, um, this is really going to be for your outbound, for your outreach. Don't see this as a CRM because you're going to tell me, yeah, HubSpot does sales sequences and so on. But you usually don't want to have your outbound data, your database that you're going to that you're going to be reaching out to in your CRM. You want to start having that data in your CRM when you know they're, they're they're a bit warmer and they're not super cold. I think in super cold, your goal with outreach and reply is to warm up these leads, and then when they're warm, you can start bringing them into your CRM cool beans all right uh yeah and then of course we're going to look at lead generation and prospecting because that's one of the most important things to build a health and for your healthy sales pipeline uh you're gonna need linkedin sales navigator uh, linkedin sales navigator is an awesome tool uh the thing with linkedin sales navigator is that uh, people buy it and pay for it and when i see the usage or how people use it it's very very minimal I don't see people really using it uh, at its uh, most powerful uh, state. You know, like it's, it has some amazing, amazing uh, features. It's very, very advanced. And we're writing actually a guide about how to use Sales Navigator uh, at its best. So, you know, uh, keep in touch. Um, make sure to sign up to our newsletter and you will hear about this uh, guide very soon. It's going to be a very advanced sales navigator usage guide. I'm writing it myself, so hopefully uh, it'll be done very soon and you'll have a, an amazing guide to use LinkedIn sales navigator. You know, uh, Very powerful. Apollo, we love Apollo. We use it as well here at Task Drive. You know, Apollo, it's, uh, it's very advanced search capabilities for your prospecting for your leads. And that's what you want. Apollo also has now uh, some really cool new AI features. Uh, we've been testing them. Um, I can't really say much yet because it's very new for us as well. Uh, but it has some really cool AI features that uh, I recommend to check out as well. Um, so Zoom Info is going to be another one that everybody knows. It's, uh, it's quite a famous one. Um, it's very expensive when you go for the yearly, uh, and I think the quality is is, is is slightly going down uh, because when you think about it, uh, these databases, a part sales navigator, so Apollo, Zoom Info, and many others, Crunchbase, and, and all this type of stuff, they are a um, snapshot of of data, as I always say. So there could be three months, six month old contacts, right? Uh, so the the emails might not be relevant or accurate anymore. 
because the people might have moved on. It could be new jobs and so on. So this is why people come to work with Task Drive where we build you amazing lead lists, uh, fresh for you, custom. Um, that's that's kind of what we do. We have access to 30 plus of these tools from you know Sales Navigators to Apollos to Zoom Infos to Crunchbase to Built With to many, many, many other databases that... Uh, that we have on our on our on our database, just so that uh, we can create these amazing uh, lead lists for you guys. Uh, that that's really uh, what we do here, right? Uh, so yeah, check them out. Um, as I mentioned, the Sales Navigator guide is going to be one of the most important uh, guides we've written because um, there's some amazing usage with Sales Navigator. Awesome. Very simple uh, reminders. Uh, and why I brought this, and you might be like, well, we all know this kind of uh, things, Tim, these tools. But I brought these because even the other day I had a client that um, sent us a PDF, a PDF for their NDA, and they were like, could you please sign this and send it back? And we're like, why is this not on a DocuSign or a sign well? You know? uh, so people still... Uh, don't use e-signature solutions, um, please do. Because anybody you're working with, and if you're not using an e-signature e solution, um, they're not going to really like working with you. It's a very bad start on sending an email of an attachment and saying, please download it, you know, um, sign it and send it. Hopefully you have an electronic signature on your preview and you can put it or on your iPad and so on. Um and then you have to send it back. But instead, send a link to a DocuSign or a SignWell. You know, click two buttons, sign, here we go. You don't even have to send it back because it automatically will send it back and, and alert the person. All right. So um, these are very silly, silly tools, but uh, they're essential. You know, so this is why um, we're talking about essential tools here. So please do make sure that you have a certain type of uh, e-signature solution. Right. So the Essential Sales Toolkit webinar uh, is to remind you this as well. <clears throat> awesome stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, so check them both out. I think we're using SignWell. Um, and for our proposals, we're using Better Proposals. They're quite good as well. Um, you're going to have these features in some of the CRMs like HubSpot and so on as well. Um, you know, check them out. Cool. Getting down into more interesting stuff a little bit. Uh, still is, would you just say they're essential? No, I mean, they're not essential. But if you do have a sales team of 10, 10 plus people or 15 plus people, I think this is where it starts getting really interesting. I mean, Gong, you know, so for sales performance and gamification, you need, I mean, also, as you guys know, one of the most difficult things I had with sales sales teams is to motivate them. Um, I had a 17 people sales uh, team in uh, Barcelona in a physical office, and it, it was not easy to motivate them. But um, you know, you have to make sure the energy is there. You know, you're cold calling, people don't answer. You know, some people can hang up. Some hopefully don't swear, but it does happen. So, so it can be very difficult. You need motivation. You need gamification. gamification for this reason. Um, and let's start with Gong, though. Gong is really to analyze with AI, to analyze your calls and provide insights to improving your sales techniques. Uh, this is amazing because with Gong, you can literally learn from your top salesperson why this person is your top salesperson, what are they doing different to the others. Get that, bring that training into your other sales people, you know, and get your other sales uh, team members also upskilled so that they can be one of the top salespeople as well, right? So Gong is amazing for that. Uh, Plecto, I used Plecto myself a while ago. Um, it was a client I was consulting for. They had a, a great sales team. They had um, they had these screens on the sales floor, and in these screens they had these leaderboards, uh, but this leaderboard was created with like, like a PDF or something like that or a slide, and they had to manually change it and so on, and it was it was okay, you know, it was a great start. Um, and then we brought in Plecto. Plecto, you know, you can integrate it and get real time sales performance numbers, um, you know, and it has amazing gamification. You know, who's the the leader of the week, of the day, of the month, of the quarter? 
you know, who's the runner up, uh, who sold more of this package and stuff like that. Uh, Plecto is, is for, for that. I think it's, it's, it's a game changer. You know, you can really get people to, you know, I, I'd call it friendly competition between your salespeople and a bit of friendly competition is okay. And I think it's good. Uh, you know, competitiveness between your team, you know, shouldn't be too aggressive and too strong, of course, all right? Because you're a team that wants to help each other. So Plecto does that quite well. So this is why I do recommend checking out Plecto. Ambition, not a tool that I used, but it was recommended multiple times. You know, it really does also help motivate sales team. Uh, again, same thing. It has It's going to have gamification features, um, you know, performance tracking, again, real time. Um, you know, so do check them out. Check out Plecto and Ambition for that type of stuff. But on, you know, learning insights and getting better at sales and at your techniques, at how you're speaking, how you're selling, and so on, I definitely recommend Gong for that. Cool. Another set of tools here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so now on training and onboarding, right? This is to improve sales skills and knowledge. We have Mind Tickle. It tickles the mind. Uh, provides sales training and coaching solutions to improve skills and knowledge among your sales reps. This is really good. Uh, Lessonly, again, like an e-learning platform. It's a platform for creating and delivering sales training content. Um, so sales teams, when they go over five people, I think it's very important to start sharing knowledge. Peer-to-peer -peer knowledge is, is very important. Um, sales changes all the time. Uh, tools, channels, uh, you know, how we should speak and so on uh, can can change a lot. And if you have a new product, you have a new service, you have a new feature, and you want to be able to deploy this to your salespeople, uh, this is the type of tools that you need, like Mind Tickle or Lessonly. You know, check them out for your sales training and onboarding and improving sales skills and knowledge. Um, awesome. Great stuff. Um, Haha. We come to my favorite, uh, Chat GPT, and, and um, you know people laugh at me because they call it, I call it my best friend or now my BFF, even my best friend forever. I'm not sure it's going to be forever because it's starting to get a little bit worse than it used to be, and I think Bard or Claude to uh, some other uh, generative AI tools are starting to get really, really good. And somebody even told me to switch to Claude too. So Chat GPT, I'm your friend. I love you. I don't know for how long. Uh, hopefully, you'll, you know, if you if you do my tasks and you're doing well, I'll keep loving you. But if that quality starts going down, I'll have to start looking at uh, alternatives, right? So, and that that might happen soon. So, uh, why I kept a bit of time and I put ChatGPT here because if you know my uh, our task drive, the the other webinars that I've hosted. Um, I've done a lot of ChatGPT stuff. People loved it. And this is why I was saying, you know, our LinkedIn, ChatGPT, your LinkedIn assistant webinar had 1,400 people. Um, and what we did was really hands-on examples on what to do with ChatGPT for sales. So I'd love to do a little bit of that as we have some time here. Um, and what I, what I want to do is I want to run you through a couple prompts um, and, and show you what can be done with ChatGPT. So um, let me share my ChatGPT in a second. Here we go. I've switched the tab. I do hope you guys can see. I reckon so. So um, in ChatGPT, uh, you know, uh, if you have GPT-4, the paid version, awesome. Uh, I think that version is much stronger. Um, you know, GPT-3.5 is okay. But GPT-4 is, is starting to get really, really strong and, and powerful. I do have some prompts already here, ready. And if you can't see them like uh, like this, that means you don't have the Chrome extension, AI PRM. Um, I do have uh, one of my own, two of my own prompts that are really popular at the moment. One is the proven LinkedIn bio framework, about 11.1% thousand usage so 11,000 plus people has been using this my sales pitch with a proven storytelling framework has been uh, used about 3,000 times uh, these are out there uh, people can use them I've even got some great leads um, from them as well um, from using them um, I've shown this so I can test them out again in front of you guys but I've favorited a few uh, from other people that I really loved 
that I wanted to uh, show you guys. But um, I'd love to show you why they're a good prompt uh, because I think that's very important in ChatGPT stuff. You know, here, uh, this prompt, you know, um, it's what was the title? Let's just read the title quickly together. Uh, it's a highly persuasive one page sales pitch using neuro linguistic programming techniques. So when I read the prompt in the back, you know, uh, what I love is says, you know, you are now accomplished and experienced certified neurolinguistic programmer and sales trainer. Do not mention anywhere in the sales pitch that you are using said techniques and do not talk about yourself in any way. You know, use the words in the prompt, which we're going to look at in a second, to generate a one-page sales pitch based on them. Use discreetly but very persuasively neurolinguistic programming techniques like time, distortion, pacing, and leading. Exciting each of the senses of the potential reader and adding a call to action in the last paragraph. I love this. I tested this just before this this uh, webinar on purpose. And the first test I did was already super successful. And I was like, to my marketing manager, I was like, oh, we should use this. Uh, that was really, really good. So, um, you know, salespeople as well uh, can use this right away. So this is a really good prompt that we're going to test now. So let's, let's just test that one right away. Um... So if I click that, it's going to ask me here, as you can see, your list of keywords describing the product to promote or sell. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do our sales task drive, okay? Um, and I'm going to write it down. I'm going to say uh, lead research services and uh, appointment setting services and why i'm saying services because i wanted to know that i'm a service-based business and not a product-based business right i'm not going to touch any of the output tone and writing style i'm not going to add a profile into it uh i'm just going to keep this uh with that prompt and i'm going to send that to chat gpt and what we're going to get is yeah so chat gpt calls me tim the boss by the way i know it's funny but um i like it it's cheesy uh so what you get right away is a great little uh, sales pitch, right? And it's going to use those uh, neurolinguistic techniques uh, to do a great pitch. Okay, so I've already done this one before, so I can show you a done version while this is doing it. Uh, okay, so it's it's already gone to the take action. I can keep it for a second, um, and as you can see, it's going to start doing the call to action. And here we go. Right, so I done the first one. I thought was a little bit better. I don't know why that changed. Uh, I do know. I think why, because in this one I had my profile in the back, and I can explain the difference. Uh, so in this one, what I love it, it also highlighted those words. Right, it it put them in bold. Okay, and I love how it started. So look, looking to skyrocket your business growth, it's time to dive into the future of lead research and appointment setting services. I love it here. It says, imagine the sensation of having your calendar filled with high-quality appointments, the sound of your phone ringing with eager prospects, and the taste of success as your sales figures soar. Great story, right? It does bring emotions and so on. It does play into our our, our minds and, and our emotions. It tickles our mind. What was it mind tickle? Tickle mind, yeah? <laughs> feel the comfort of knowing that your leads are being handled by experts, allowing you to focus on what you do best. That's really what we do. That's exactly what we do. You know, I don't know how it knows, but it knows. Um, and then I'll give you the two services, you know, lead research services. It's going to tell you to picture your ideal customer. Now imagine having a list of those exact prospects delivered to your doorstep. Our lead research services are tailored to your specific needs, providing you with the most relevant and high quality leads. Hear the sound of opportunity knocking as we open doors to new markets and possibilities. We do this a lot for our clients. Uh, opening new markets. Um, appointment setting services, it goes into the field, the excitement as your calendar fills up, right? I'm not going to read all of it. Uh, smell the aroma of success as you walk into a meeting, fully prepared and confident. You know, so um, you might not use exactly this because I will change a few things like at your doorstep, you know, don't need that because everybody's off, like uh, everybody's remote now and stuff. Um, time to act. This is where your call to action is coming in. The future is here and it's time to seize it. Imagine looking back a year from now, seeing your business transform, right? So it's giving me that feeling of imagination in, I don't know, in, in a year's time, looking back and why I got this service, so which is awesome. And it does a really nice little um, call to action. Click the link below to schedule a consultation with our experts. Let's make your dreams a reality. 
it could be a little bit too much. I know a few people uh, that will say, oh, this is a little bit too much. Yes, you can tone it down. I could even just tell it, you know, can you tone it down a little bit, right? If I say that, it's going to, can you tone it down a bit, tone it down a bit, right? If I say this, it's just going to start toning it down a little bit, right? Um, here we go, you know. Right away, looking for to grow your business. So we find the right leads for you. No more wasting time on dead end. Just quite a prospects. We said that means decision makers. Maybe it's a bit too simplified. It's too toned down. But now you have two versions. You have the super simple, basic toned down version, and you have the neurolinguistic storytelling and emotion tickling, mind tickling, a version of it. You know, a combination of these two would be great. So now you can work on that. Again, I mean. You know uh, what it is is that it just gives you a very quick draft, um, very very quickly. Right? Okay, cool. So I do want to show you a few others. Why ChatGPT? Just to remember, remind you, why is ChatGPT your best sales assistant? Right? Uh, because it can do so many stuff. Right? Uh, so one that I I do like is to yeah I did test this one it was okay million dollar sales email script if we looked at the at the prompt itself in the back end right it's create a sales email for blah 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 uh, and then what i like is just it's, it's giving a framework it's breaking it down already this is attention grabber intention call out uh disqualifier credibility context cta number one benefits testimonial cta two Final intention call out, final CTA three, and humorous, right? Uh, humorous PS. Okay, this is fun. You know, uh, I'll test it together. Um, let's just do that. Our product, service, or offer. Let's do again the same thing, right? Lead research, service, and appointment setting service, and let's send that out. Boom. Let's see what's happening here. Let's close this to make it a bit cleaner. And here we are. Right away, it's going to start using that framework uh, that it had in the prompt. Attention grabber. Tired of chasing leads? It's time to let them chase you. Wow, oh, that's fun. Uh, the intention call out. We're here to provide busy entrepreneurs like you with quality lead research and appointment setting. We want to focus more on your business and less on the legwork. That is true that's you know that's what we also say disqualify if you're already flooded with high quality leads and appointments this isn't for you but if you're like most of us keep reading and it's true you know there's no, never enough leads and appointments in our calendar uh credibility with a decade of experience we've had business just like your growth 300 percent in one year we're more than a service we're a partner in success so this is all true but obviously it doesn't know the numbers so what i would do is i would get a case study uh one of our case studies from the website I will I will plug that in here and that will be super custom to us. Um, you know, we combine data driven methods and personal insight to find leads that convert. With us, you can count on real growth, and that's also true. Uh, it gives us CTA right away. Uh, the benefits, you know, customized lead research, scheduled appointments, time and money savings, twenty four support. Uh, twenty four support. We kind of have eighteen hours of support, not twenty four yet, but uh, we'll see. Uh, testimonial again, of, of course, is not real. So I would bring a testimonial and a case study, as I mentioned. So some real numbers and a real case study uh, and a real testimonial. It's very easy to plug. You can go to Clutch, where we have a bunch of testimonials. I can go to our website, where we have a bunch of case studies. Copy and paste those data points and uh, and that text in here. And this will uh, become custom uh, to exactly what we have. Um, so that's that. Um, yeah, and then it just goes with the final intention call out, the final CTA, and the humorous. Our lead researchers can't. Our lead researchers can find anything. Expect where socks disappear in the laundry. That's fun because I still can't find my socks that disappear in the laundry. I don't know if any of you can find them, uh, but uh, I think the laundry machines do eat them. Uh, cool. So that was. A um, a really good prompt, not by me. Uh, it was from from uh, Drew Crawford. So thank you, Drew. A uh, great one. Um, you know, proven email templates boost your sales now. Let's just check. I always like to check the back end, right, to see what it is. So here I'll tell you. I'll tell ChatGPT what uh, should act as the goal of it. 
uh, it's going to give some directions on on the task itself you know how long uh, it should be the words the subject line the attention grabbing kind of same thing as the other a little bit shorter it doesn't have an ex uh, exact framework uh, which i do like exact frameworks but let's test this out together again lead research service we're going to write um lead research service and uh, a point setting service i'm going to send that again and we're going to wait for the response from here okay cool so let's talk potential customer for a lead research and appointment setting service i'm talking about likely being professionals business owners, sales managers as well it, it does know i didn't even tell it what our target was which that's amazing to see um and in the meantime i'm sending a ticker on the on the bottom you know you can go to taskdrive.com and book a free consultation call with us uh so here it's done a it's done a subject line unlike success with our premium lead research and appointment setting time sensitive offer okay uh and then it's gone right away on you know as a thriving professional you understand so it's about you which is good uh and then it talks about our service right away uh and what i like it's here right so why choose us okay a personalized research efficient appointment setting qualified leads only and affordable pricing that's these are all true these are all true uh limited time offer a 20 percent discount no i'm not giving a 20 percent discount uh but i can give you a 10 percent discount um and what i'm gonna give you at the end of this we'll have a qr code it will give you 25 complimentary leads okay so that's going to be up in a bit. Um, so I love that that it it do it did take a limited time offer. It decided on it. You know we can uh, tweak that right away. Um, and then here I like that it's it's already given us a great call to action. You know the link is not going to work because we didn't give it a link. But it says you know click here to schedule a free consultation or simply reply to this email. Uh, and then hurry the clock is ticking. This offer won't last long. Wishing you tremendous success and looking forward to being part of your growth story. Little PS as well. Uh, okay, this was not the humorous one because it, it didn't have in that. But here, here you go. I mean, this is a great draft to start, right? And, you know, uh, I don't think we have a uh, writer's block anymore thanks to these type of tools like ChatGPT. All right, before the time runs out, I want to do one more of these. Um, let's see which one. Which one? Proven email templates. We've done that. We've done this. Um, okay, so something. Let me use one of mine so that you guys can see one of mine. Sales pitch with a proven storytelling framework. Mine is going to be a bit different, okay? And you'll see why I'm saying that it's going to be a bit different. Let's clean this up a little bit. Let's do the same thing. Let's do a lead research service and appointment setting service. And the difference with mine it should be that it's going to start interviewing me. It's going to ask me questions, right? So you see, this is already my prompts are a little bit more as an assistant. They're more a brainstorming partner for you. It's not for you for it to just do the task, but it's for you to to think and 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 do the task together. So in this one, first question, what's the problem you're solving with your lead research service and appointments? Um, you know, I'm not going to take a long, long time. Um, so I'm going to say, you know, um, what's the problem? Empty sales pipelines. Empty, we're solving empty sales pipelines. Yeah. Second, what else is out there that addresses this problem? Uh, what else is out there that addresses this problem? Uh, software, sales enablement. Sales enablement softwares. What else is out there? Your internal, your internal team. I can keep going. Okay. Uh, third question: What's the perfect world solution for your customer in dealing with empty sales pipelines? Um, a, a a pipeline full of amazing leads. Who are you in the context of this solution? Uh, what's your role in making this perfect world a reality? We are Task Drive. We are your sales enablement uh, service partner. Um, we have the expertise, the expertise of 
five five hundred plus customers and seven years of experience, you know, and so on. You can again continue and so and, and all that. Uh, I'll zoom in a bit more. Uh, what value do you bring? Uh, you know, the value we bring is is it's great ROI. Uh, a busy pipeline and calendar and calendar for your sales team which is very important um, how do we make the process better faster and more efficient to your customers uh, we have uh, playbooks uh, that you know playbooks that we have tested on many customers uh, we customize these for each customer or partner and we are um, budget friendly. I'm going to write, boom. So I'm going to start getting the answer. What's your proof? Well, we have a bunch of clutch testimonials and a few case studies on our website so of course i would take the time and i would bring this information now because if you bring this information now it's really gonna finalize it but i just want to make sure that we're, we're flowing quickly as we don't have much time left what do you want the customer to do what's the call to action i want them to um you know, oh yeah here are you know get our complimentary 25 leads and i made a mistake it's okay it's gonna know it Boom. Here's the sales pitch. Empty sales pipeline got you down. You're not alone. But while you could rely on sales enabled software or your internal team, there's a better way. Imagine a pipeline full of amazing leads. No more hunting, no more guessing. That's what we offer at Task Drive. We're our sales enabled service partner with the expert of 500 customers in seven years. What's the value? Great ROI. Don't take our word for it. You know, check the class testimony and case studies. Um, you know, and get our get our complimentary 25 leads. This is great for a draft i didn't put the right information and as you saw i put very small like a couple of words in one sentence uh you know when i designed this prompt i took quite a bit of time to actually bring um some material from your website from your sales pitches that exist bring all that stuff bring your real cta bring um, you know your customers uh pain points and so on and at the end you're gonna have a great um sales pitch Right. And this is all done, you know, in in, in a few few messages with ChatGPT. Um, okay, so that's why I wanted to say that uh, ChatGPT is, you know, your best sales assistant. We saw some other tools like CRM, sales enablement tools, um, data visualization tools, reporting tools, and so on. Uh, but ChatGPT can almost do them all as well. Uh, it needs a little bit more manual. It needs you, uh, but that's what we want. We want to keep that human aspect anyways. Okay, so, um, you know, check out ChatGPT, of course. If you don't know it, if you know it, that's awesome. If you don't, you can send me a message. Um, but let's move on and see what do we have uh, on the line because we don't have much time. So how can you evaluate which tools and technologies are right for your specific needs and goals? You know, um, usually what happens is a lack of clarity on goals. So make sure you have your goals set before you're looking for a tool. Why Why do you need this tool? Which goals are you going to tackle with this tool? How can it help you with your goals? Um, it's overlooked. We overlook user needs because, uh, you know, uh, the VP of sales or the, the CFO is going to choose a tool. Um, and then they don't think about the user's needs. So please do think about your salespeople's needs and so on. And, you know, uh, and that... Uh, ignore integration compatibility, overbuying or underbuying. This happens a lot. Uh, don't rush the selection process. Um, neglecting user training. Like we get tools and then we just give it to our teams and then we don't train them on it. And that goes really bad. I've done it multiple times. So still haven't learned from it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm learning from it. Uh, rushing the selection process. I've said that. Focusing solely on price. Yes, it's not all about price. You need to look at the features and the integration, as I mentioned. You know, um, not monitoring progress is also a problem. Um, ignoring change management, failing to customize, not seeking vendor references, ignoring scalability. This happens a lot. I have seen this, um, you know, so don't ignore that. If you're small and you're going to grow quickly, 
you know, make sure that uh, whatever you choose, like let's say you choose like something like Pipedrive and then you're going to go to a Salesforce, make sure that a platform like Pipedrive, which it has uh, a very easy export feature, so you can export and then import it to Salesforce or the, the next platform easily and making sure that uh, all your data is in the right place. Um, and then your data privacy and security. Um so how can you ensure that uh, your sales tools and technologies are integrated and in line with your sales processes and workflows? Well, we've, we've got a very simple process here, you know, map out current workflows. Uh, and I can't say this enough, you know, map out your manual processes that you're going to automate with tools or that you want to tackle with tools, map them out, you know, identify what are those pain points in, in the, during the workflow, during the process, during your system that you have, what are those pain points? Because that's how you can understand which tool can solve those pain points. Um, identify integration points, okay? Ident identify what else tools do you have? What's your calendar tool? What's your email um, domain? You know, is it G Suite, uh, Outlook, and so on? Most tools are going to have that, but you know what I mean, you know, just make sure that um, you have a list of integration points and you know that. Uh, and according to that, start choosing compatible tools. Uh, when you're getting there, start involving your team, okay? So that they know as well what they're going to get. Um, and then when you get that, you know, provide the training because that's very important. So this, I think five and six, I should have underlined them or, or highlighted them in bold. They're very important because if you don't provide the training, but you have the Rolls Royce, but nobody knows how to use the features of the Rolls Royce, you know, how to put the, 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 the beautiful sky it has with the stars and so on. If, if you don't know, you're not going to get the best of it. And if you don't get the best of it, don't get the best tool because, you know, you are going to, want to use those features um monitor adoption you know uh, make sure that your your people are using it uh who's using it how much they're using it uh you know then measure the results from it we've done i've done this mistake before as well i have a monitor adoption and i got a great tool gave them quick sale a quick training uh and then you know oh what happened to that tool well, nobody's using it well that well, yeah, but that tool does some amazing stuff why is nobody using it well, because, you know, uh, the adoption wasn't great or, you know, the, we, didn't, we didn't do continuous learning and continuous um, training on the tool. So, you know, think about that. Measure your results, of course. Iterate and improve. Uh, communicate changes as you in iterate and improve processes and tools or a new integration and so on. You know, make sure you're communicating it to everybody that is using the tool so that they know the new stuff that, uh, that is integrated or the new system, the new process, um, and regularly review those processes because as you regularly review these processes, that's how you'll iterate and improve, okay? Um, and then seek feedback and improvement, you know? Uh, always seek from other people, not just from, from yourselves, but peer-to-peer, -peer, uh, thought leaders, other people on LinkedIn that you admire, just ask them. Uh, if you don't ask, you don't get. And I say this all the time. And I've asked a lot of stuff, and I got some great stuff. Um, and people ask me stuff, and you know, I do it. You know, so so don't hesitate to ask. Uh, emerging trends and technologies in sales. <clears throat> this is going to be a quick because we have a few minutes left. But AI, 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 of course. But this is more like your AI machine learning in a, in, a, in, a, in a bigger picture, automating repetitive tasks, identifying sales patterns faster, augmenting the role of your sales teams. Um, there is a lot out there. Uh, I think we might do a um, webinar uh, just for that, um, you know, AI in sales. I think we should do one for that. So um, I just took a note of that myself. So that we have a AI for sales webinar. Uh, conversational AI and chatbots. Uh, this is my favorite at the moment, of course. ChatGPT sits here. Conversational AI and chatbots. Um, and as you've seen it, you know a lot of things can be done very quickly. But you can also start doing on customer history. Uh, you can, you know, uh, you can do a lot with this. I love it. Voice technology and smart assistants. I was just testing a voice uh, assistant. Not a voice assistant, but a voice technology that can. Um, clone your voice and is starting to get really good, really realistic and scary, but also amazing. You know, instead of being scared, adopt to it. You know, um, this is going to bring a lot of scams, I know, but um, you know, I think that it's a 
it's an amazing it's an amazing area to look to look at you know because uh, you could just have a, a a qualifier that is automated you know has a quick chat and then brings into a real person or something like that uh remote sales and virtual meetings you know uh if you're not remote um that's good you have your own office but if you're remote it's even better because work life balance and so on since i've i've gone remote a few years ago thanks to covid i've never looked back and i wouldn't go to an office again i believe um because it, it's you know when i'm going to close this webinar i'm going to go through that door and my wife and my daughter is going to be there so um, you know uh anything that helps remote sales and virtual meetings like zoom like today we're on restream and linkedin which we had an issue earlier and that's why we started late but um you know <clears throat> allowing salespeople to talk with customers from anywhere in the world and help them grow their sales remotely uh very important you know this is a, an amazing trend and this is not going to stop that's what i mean you know uh this trend will continue uh sales analytics and predictive insights so sales analytics we we touched upon a little bit uh, predictive insights are very good predictive analytics is amazing especially with ai um you know i can i can with, if, you, if you have enough data in your pipeline, in your CRM, you can have a predictive um, analytics tool, a predictive insights tool that can tell you when a deal is going to close, when you should message the person, um, and so on. So there's some really good stuff. That could be another one that uh, we might want to dig in and do predictive uh, sales tools. I think that could be cool. Um virtual and augmented reality we are still in the in the early days of that um you know uh i th think that with the apple glasses that came out but a little bit closer to it but they're very expensive and and their their battery is too short so i don't think we're going to get there yet but um i do believe in a couple of years we are going to have some very interesting stuff and in sales is going to be great especially if you have a hardware you're selling some some type of hardware product and so on on zoom is going to be very dif difficult you know you're like oh i sell this this amazing smart water bottle it's very difficult to show you and so on but when you have you know vr and so boom just going to wear it you're going to see the product um you'll be able to to sell interior design projects you'll be able to sell architectural stuff you'll be able to sell you know a lot of crazy stuff that we didn't think we could sell online right uh, even carpets i sold i sold turkish handmade carpets back in the day you know we went door to door uh hopefully in a few years you know people can put their vr on and be in this amazing uh, gallery of the most beautiful carpets and somebody can be showing them to you in the vr world uh, that's going to happen. It's, it's starting to happen already, and it's going to get bigger and bigger. Uh, but it was still early. That's why it's on six, I think. Uh, these are things that are happening big time. Um, these are happening, but uh, I don't see every company really needing this. Uh, and, and this not at all at the moment. But it'll happen. It'll happen, I do. I do believe. Uh, that's kind of it, to be honest. We're one minute over because we started late so um i don't know if there's any questions i'll, I'll double check but we don't have a high attendance and i think all the people that were going to attend they waited uh, around and then we were eight minutes late to start so they're gone but the recording will be there and then you know people can watch the recording and even on the recording we will give um the 25 leads so we're giving away 25 uh complimentary leads so you can click on that button. Um, you'll have that as well somewhere. Uh, this you'll have this document soon. Um, and if you know if if you can't click on something, just message taskdrive.com. Uh, you, you can message hello at taskdrive.com. You can go to our website, book a consultation call. Uh, you can message any of my team members. I'm sure they'll bring it to me. Um, you know, um, and that's kind of it to be honest. Uh, let me stop this this share and let's let me get back myself here um you know it, it was great uh we looked at very quick uh some of the essential tools that you need we looked at some crms that i love um did a bit of a reminder on some amazing sales enablement tools some data tools um we'll create a guide for all of this so that you can have an actionable guide um, the page that I showed you will turn into an amazing guide that will be available on our website. And I will see you guys in our next uh, webinar in a couple of weeks.
about sales objections, objection handling. Oh, yes. And one of my team members actually put the link for uh, the complimentary leads on the chat. So you can find that on the comments, on the chat. Thank you very much for that. Um, and as I mentioned, you know, in two weeks, uh, so not next Wednesday, the Wednesday after, again, we have another webinar. Um, if you're re watching the recording of this, you're not going to know which date that is. So let me tell you, that's going to be on the 30th of August at the same time, same place, hopefully with no delay, uh, we will have a um, sales objection handling webinar. I'm looking forward to that one as well because uh, it's been a long time I haven't done much objection handling. Um, but uh, I love to remind myself about things and then come and share whatever I know with you guys. So thank you very much. And let me put that QR code if you can see this. Um, that means that you can actually scan it with your phone. You can scan that with your camera. Uh, and you will get the complimentary leads. Even if you're watching the recording, you can bring your phone out and you can actually scan that QR code or you can find on the chat the link to the same thing uh, for the 25 complimentary leads. So uh, do check it out. Um, and thank you very much, um, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you soon on another webinar that we will have together. Thanks again. All the best. See you in a couple of weeks. Thank you very much, everybody.